Alrighty, so here's a quick little recap from last week's video and last week's lesson into this week. It's just one more exercise that I want you to keep your fingers. So let me just talk about the pancake lessons we should have thus far. What we did was... What we did is we took all of our chords and kind of made the minors out of them. So we know where a C sharp, C major is, and then a C minor. We know where a D major is, playing it with just our second finger here, and then a second finger with D minor. We could also do a D major with this up top. We could also do our D major here. Play that up top. Two forms. What we do is we're trying to play our majors with all the different fingers, and then our minors in different phrases. Or in fit different fingerings, so we're able to use other fingers. So with the G, what oh, was that? C, a D, we have an E. Looks like the D bar, but you're playing this B right here. Or you play that fourth fret and go up here. And that would be your E. Uh, and then the E minor. It's a great one right there. Love that. It's actually one of my favorite chords and actually favorite positions. G minor. <laughs> so what we have here is transversible shapes that once you get these shapes down, they're gonna move all over the fretboard. And you know this. So now it's just calling them for what they are. And where we're at is the F. So the F major is gonna be the F right here and the A, because what we have, like in all these chords, are triads. A, B, C, D, E, F. So in F, I've got F, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So I've got F, skip the G, go to A, B, go to C. So I've got F, A, C, which means F, A, C, here's my F, here's my A, here's my C. This is a repeat A of this A. There's my triad, that's the F major. To make a minor, we move the third scale degree down a half step, it makes it flat. So if you're in F, the third scale degree is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. F, G, A, B, C, C would be the fifth, A is gonna be the uh, third. So to make A minor, no, not A minor, F, F minor, we're gonna have to keep the F, keep the C, but lower the A to a A flat. And that seems weird to do that. So what we do completely is we flip flop those fingers. Whoop. And then I add the C here because that two C's sound great. All right, and that's an F major to an F minor. And then of course, play the F major in the first fingering and then in the second finger. And do the rhythm exercises along with all these pancake lessons. One, two, three, four. One and two, get ready for the switch. And one, two, three, four. Back and forth between the fingers and majors. Then maybe to minors right here. One and two and three to the first position. Minor, 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 minor. Do, 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 do. Here's the second position. So with all those, you could use a little bit of rhythm on the right hand and a little bit of moving the uh, half steps to make majors minors. Where were we at? F, let's go to G. G major, we've got a D, we've got a G, and we've got a B. So we've got G major, G, A, B, C, D. So we've got G, skip, uh, A, go to B. So G, B, skip D, go to C. So G, B, C is gonna be our triad. Here's my G, here's my B, and here's my D. Not G, B, C, G, B, D. Yeah, those flips. If I wanted to make a minor, G, A, B. That's my third. So I'm going to have to take that B and make it a B flat. Same thing with the F major, where we, uh, F major to F minor, we actually had to make a movement like that. This F was being played, but I was moving my fingers. So in the G, your G is anchored rock solid. You're going to have a D in there as well, because G, A, B, C, D, D is your fifth of G. If you wanted to make that B a B flat to make a minor, you gotta move these fingers, just like you do with the F. It actually resembles an F, except it's not on the same chords. You're not actually playing the F and the A, you're playing a B flat and a D. Anywho, there's your G to G minor, and of course, play that in the first fingering, first fingering, second fingering, second fingering. What this does is it makes really good muscle memory and gets you really quick at doing fast movements, like, uh, which is basically a scale modal coming out of the G going down to C. Anywho, when you get through the G, you go to the A major. A, B, C, D, E. A, C sharp, and E is how you play a major. And when you make that C sharp, A, C, you go from a, which makes your minor. So A major, A minor, with the C sharp, without the C sharp. You could also play them the second finger position. And then, lo and behold, you can do the third, which I don't use an awful lot, but 
does help with good stretches like that. They're kind of weird and funky. Anywho, when we go to our B major, the A in second position, scoot up a whole step. So A, B flat, B, and then bar your whole second fret makes that B major. When you remove the third, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, and you flatten that third, it becomes a B minor. So going through all these, we would have a C major, C minor, D major, D minor, E major, E minor, F major, F minor, that's my favorite chord there. Uh, what are we, G major, G minor, we're gonna have a A major, A minor, then we're going to go to a B major, B minor, and then up to back again to the C major. Here's where it gets a little bit interesting. In a major, we've got do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Each one of those notes are just a note. When you add notes to them and make harmonies like do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. All of those seven chords, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C are made up of three notes. Triads. Each one of those in order when starting in C moves up in a major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, lending tone falls back onto its roots. What we will be discussing in the next couple weeks is how to correlate somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue, with Melody is derived out of Melody is out of scales and the scales are just based on where you're starting your tonal position for the scales. So the next step that would be fun for you to work on this week after having not even seen this in person is just trying to do a D major scale. I can tell you right now, in the key of C, no sharps, no flats. That means that when you're talking about it, you don't, don't have to have to say things, things, things twice, twice, nor, nor do you have to have to add sharp, sharps, or flat, flats. So you could have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. As soon as you go up the scale, up the neck, you start adding sharps and flats. It sounds a little different. In the key of G, there's one sharp. That sharp is F sharp. It is the seventh tone of G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. If I were to go G, A, B, C, D, E, F, it wouldn't have that, that lending tone that kind of that falls off onto the note you're looking for, which is why we were explaining in the first practice that this G7 that you would think to be a five chord, one, two, three, four, five, is actually the seventh chord because the F, the D, and the B in a C major chord looks like a diminished. And if you hear it that way, it changes perspectively what that chord is. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished. And no matter where you're doing that, if you're in D major, E minor, F sharp minor, <laughs> G major, A major, B minor, C sharp diminished, D. No matter where you put that in, as long as you know the sharps and flats for that key signature, you're going to have no, no, have no, that's improper English. You're not going to have any, any problem, problem saying, saying these notes. So here's all we see. You could do either the D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major, B minor, C sharp minor, and then resolve in D, or just do a good old fashioned D note, E note, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And when doing that, if you hear the whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, you can do that anywhere. And that is an Ionian mode or a major scale. That should be enough information that I didn't rot your brain, but if you want one more little fun thing, you could change any chord you have into a major chord 
that's not just major or minor sounding with the third being the distinguishing between la, la, the kind of like movement. You can actually have notes which have a seventh in it, a diminished seventh or a dominant seventh. So a C major, to get the C major seven, you flatten the tonal step, the tonic, one note. That note's going to be a half note. So you're in C, you're gonna go over to a B. So a C major, here's a C major seven. In a G major, the G is gonna go down a half step to the F sharp, giving you G major, G major seven. If you're in D, this is your D note. If you wanna go down a half step, the D goes to a C sharp. So you would have this D, uh, D major seven looks an awful lot like that B diminished or that G seven. It's just over on different chords. Correlation between what your fingers are doing and these different rhythm patterns and different phrasings for where your fingers fall on the fretboard. It actually is just much easier just to do your finger spider exercises like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Stop on any note and see what chords you can build out of where that finger uh, fell. Like if I were to be doing one, two, three, four, one, I could lay my finger down on the A, the second finger, and make a C sharp and an A, which is my A major. Or if I've got that C sharp, I could go up here and hit the octave for a C sharp. Eee. I'm a little out of tune. So, when you have scale degrees one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's why you get your C major seven by going a half step down. If you wanted to make a sus chord, like a, uh, let's say a G sus, you would sus the two or the four, meaning in C, A, B, C, D, you would play a D over the top of the C. So, that's a C sus two. If you wanted to play a G sus two, You'd have, oh, sorry, there it is. I like this chord. Because you would have to include that A. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. So the second note of G is A. Add it, G sus two. If you want a G sus four, one, two, three, four. The fourth note in a G major scale, as you know now, do, 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 one, two, three, four. It's gonna be a C. So you gotta play a G and add that C. So that's a pretty good amount of information. We could review any of this or all of it or none of it next time you come back there. And we'll get to strumming and start writing songs ourselves. All right. Uh, I'll see you next week. Sorry about the long, uh, long video there. And tell your mom happy birthday. Shoots.